I can tell you sincerely that working with our Metro Chamber of Commerce of Las Vegas in 2013 has been one of the most moving events of my life. It has done me so much good to feel all of the participation that we as a community have. Uh, you all know what a rough year we, years we had coming into 2013, and I know many of you are here today remember my call for Let's Get Up and Go last year, and thank you for being a part of it. 2013 was a year of partnership, collaboration, and progress. This year, the Metro Chamber pushed, prodded, and pressed to make needed change happen, and we are proud of the results achieved through working with so many of you in this room, elected officials, other business organizations, education and nonprofit leaders, and passionate individuals to address challenges and forge a strong future. I want to highlight a few of these partnerships and accomplishments of the last year. I am proud of the results achieved on behalf of the Southern Nevada business community, large part, in large part because of the strong leadership and daily engagement of our government affairs team headed up by Brian McAnellen. They truly stood up for you, did the heavy lifting for you because you're at work making a living, leading your company to its possible successes. Our tireless government affairs team monitored 1,250 bill requests, identified 125 of those as high priority, and testified on more than 100 of those bills. As a result, legislation was helped pass to fund Southern Nevada transportation infrastructure, secure needed dollars for English language learners in Clark County School District, and restructure the higher education funding formula so more money will be allocated to UNLV and the College of Southern Nevada. We thank our Metro Chamber staff, our Governmental Affairs Committee members, headed up by Hugh Anderson, and our lobbyist with this team at Snell and Wilmer, Sam McMullen. Under the guidance of Speaker of the Assembly, Marilyn Kirkpatrick, many key stakeholders came together in advance of the 2013 legislature to develop a set of policy priorities for our region and developed a game plan for advancing issues paramount to Southern Nevada. As a result of her leadership and our collaboration, we began to address issues involving K-12 and higher education, transportation infrastructure, and governance structures. We thank Senator Kirkpatrick and applaud her leadership during the session and moving forward to 2015. We're also proud of our partnership with UNLV and we, we will mi miss Neil Samatrisk. Neil changed the role of the university in our community by reaching out to us in the business community, expanding partnerships, and showing us all the value of a strong research university in spurring economic growth and entrepreneurship. We at the Chamber will continue to be a strong champion for higher education. Through Government Affairs Chairman Hugh Anderson serving on the committee to study the funding of higher education, as well as our advocacy during the legislature, led to changes in the higher education formula that should bring a greater share of resources to UNLV, College of Southern Nevada, and Nevada State College. We also value our collabora collaboration with Brookings Mountain West and the Lindsay Institute and their high level of engagement on issues and bringing a new perspective on how we can and will transform Southern Nevada. Dr. Robert Lang, Mark Murrow, and their team have completely changed the conversation in our community. And, we, and with them, we are transforming Southern Nevada. We also had a great year of working in partnership with Regional Transportation Commission Chairman Larry Brown and General Manager Tina Quigley, as well as with other business organizations in the labor community to secure the resources we need to invest in roadways and infrastructure. They stood with us to make the strong case for fuel tax indexing and get it passed by the county commission so we have the necessary to, re to build our part of I-11 as well as complete the 215 Beltway. Here, here.
We also thank Commissioner Steve Sisolak and the entire Clark County Commission for continuously reaching out to us in the business community and getting the perspective of employers on proposed measures. This goes a long ways towards rebuilding a strong economy and we appreciate our strong working relationship with County Manager Don Burnett. Also, thanks to our federal delegation for working with us on federal, federal legislation that will help change the game in Southern Nevada, particular, particularly the Tule Springs National Monument designation, which will have significant positive economic impacts on Southern Nevada. We appreciate especially their doors always being open to us at the Metro Chamber, and we thank former Congressman John Porter of Porter, Gordon, and Silver for helping us keep these issues front and center in Washington, D.C. One of the relationships that you might recall that we strengthened throughout our merger with the North Las Vegas Chamber last year was with Nellis and Creech Air Force bases. I want to personally thank Major General Jeffrey Lofgren for working with us to build a stronger connection between Nellis and the business community. We're glad Nellis is a partner in establishing Tule Springs as a national monument. Part of that legislation would secure new lands for Nellis, which is fundamental to preserve national defense by ensuring Nellis has adequate space for training and testing. We look forward to carrying on this invaluable relationship. And speaking of the Springs, how could you not talk about it with tipping your hat to North Las Vegas Mayor John Lee for hitting the ground running as a new mayor and doing all he can to help his town in North Las Vegas, especially in its financial outlook and his efforts to build a strong economic base. Already, we have a strong collaborative relationship with Mayor Lee, and we appreciate him, along with Las Vegas Councilman Steve Ross, going with the Metro Chamber to Washington, D.C., to push for the Tule Springs National Monument to help diversify the economy in southern Nevada, in the Northern Valley, to create jobs. We realize North Las Vegas is continuing to face real hardships. Both Kristen McMillan and I will serve on the Chaired Services Committee to find ways to help North Las Vegas serve its citizens with its very limited resources. We appreciate our working relationship with Jeff Buchanan, interim North Las Vegas city manager. We all have a stake in the success of North Las Vegas and we stand ready to help. Yeah, it's getting fun, isn't it? Because here we recognize Mayor, Mayor Carol Goodman and the Las Vegas City Council along with City Manager Betsy Fretwell for streamlining the business licensing process and working closely with, with the business community and the downtown project to transform our downtown core. And thanks to Mayor Oscar Goodman for his vision of a vibrant downtown now becoming a reality through family. And speaking of downtown Las Vegas, wait to hear this. Are your forks down? Are your eyes up? This is very exciting. Today, we at the Las Vegas Metro Chamber are announcing to you and officially to the public this afternoon that our new headquarters will be in the Smith Center for the Performing Arts. This would not have been made possible without two parties. One was our large group of members who weighed in on where they felt our headquarters would be best sited. It was core to be downtown in a central location. We listened to you and we took the time. The next participating body was led by the CEO of the Smith Center for the Performing Arts, and it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Myron Martin. Thank you.
And we have a rendering up here of what it will look like. Um, Myron, we won't leave the bug there all the time. I promise that. But we have a wonderful working relationship already begun to give evidence to the strength of our community, to not only all of us here in the community, but to the world. The Smith Center for Performing Arts is world renowned, and they saw it as a benefit for not only us to be there, but in their words, for them to have us be welcomed by the Smith Center as the Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce and all that we, all that we represent. Again, thank you, Myron, and the trustees of the Smith Center. And I'd also like to thank uh, Mayor Carolyn Goodman, Councilman Ricky Barlow, and City Manager Betsy Fretwell for their collaboration in making the concept of this very special relationship become reality. We uh, details to follow, but uh, late summer is our target to get in there. Thanks also go to Rossi Rallencotter and the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority for advancing a vision for a global business district at the Convention Center and building upon Las Vegas' already strong brand to bring more global visitors and global business to Southern Nevada. This is an ambitious project and the Metro Chamber is proud to support it through our LVCVA board representation and to transform this grand vision into a reality that will secure our place as a global tourism leader well into the future. We also have to thank Pat Mulroy, John Ensminger, and the Southern Nevada Water Authority for working with the Chamber to drive the ERPAC process this past year to develop a plan now to pay for needed water infrastructure that is fair to businesses and residences and will not cost lost jobs. In fact, these rates were adopted by the Las Vegas Valley Water District just this morning. We look forward to working with SNWA on our ongoing extreme drought situation of national proportions. We also appreciate the new approach to economic development that's taking place under the leadership of Tom Skanke in the Las Vegas Global Economic Alliance. In just one year, you are bringing a new approach to attracting businesses to our region, and we look forward to continuing to build a symbiotic relationship to create jobs and bring new businesses here. Well, Mr. Spottleson, I just wanted to ask a quick question. Please be seated. But you and I will have to figure that, this out later. Did this many people come to? say goodbye to me or hello to you. I think they came to say hello to you, all right? I'm actually a pretty sensitive guy, okay? Even though I'm an accountant, a bean counter. And as I opened my remarks with the comment that this has been an, an incredible year for me, I can only tell you that yeah, it is the truth. I've, I'm moved, I'm excited, I'm heartfelt for the community that I live in and my affiliation and affection for the Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce. None of it would be possible though without the seven day a week, 24 hour a day commitment that we as members benefit from all the people who work for the Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce the 50 plus individuals whose blood is blue, Blue Metro Chamber of Commerce. And I especially like to give an accolade to our leader, our CEO, Krista McMillan, and if I could ask you to please come up and introduce Bruce, I'd appreciate it. Okay, Jay, but this doesn't really mean goodbye. I mean, you are going to be the immediate past chair, right? So you're still going to be with us for a while. Wow, what a year. Actually, 525,600 minutes. The job of a chairman 
is finite. Every year we turn the reins of governing this organization over to a new volunteer leader and each chairman leaves his or her own indelible mark on this chamber and the community at large after their year at the helm. As a past chairman myself, I can tell you that when you first approach it, a year seems like a pretty manageable period of time. Um, as those 525,600 minutes stretch out before you, there, there is a distinct deadline, and, and you say to yourself, I think I can handle that. But in reality, the job of a chairman of the chamber is a relatively short period of time to leave a mark on this community through service and to get things done. Well, this year, the chamber, we all sitting in this room, were very, very fortunate to have Jay Barrett as our chairman. And Jay has made his mark in so many ways and gotten so many things done. One year, 365 days, 8,760 hours, 525,600 minutes. How do you measure a year in the life of a chairman, Jay? Is it the number of times you hosted breakfasts, lunches, dinners, coffees? Is it the number of times you spoke out tirelessly on our behalf, communicating our mission and goals and the advocacy and partnership and resources that the chamber is responsible to bring to this vibrant and diverse community? Could it be the number of partnerships you helped bridge or how often you were, you were willing and able to step up and represent the chamber, whether it be locally during the legislative session in Carson City or in our trips to Washington, D.C.? It could be the number of times you connected us with prospective partnership opportunities or it could represent the times you fought for the business community in a multitude of issues and topics that arose throughout the course of the year. Jay, we recognize that a sizable chunk of your 525, 600, 600 minutes in 2013 were spent making this organization more successful in the way it brings resources to the businesses in this community, how we can be and become more effective advocates, and how the chamber can be a leader in forging meaningful partnerships. And on a personal level, thank you for your partnership, thank you for your friendship. You have partnered with me this year in thinking through some complex problems and finding solutions as well as connecting us to the people and resources that can make positive change in this community and I thank you for that. So, all in all, thank you for your 525,600 minutes as chairman of the Metro Chamber of Commerce. And as immediate past chair, we're only going to expect about half of those minutes from you, okay? Is that a deal? And I hope you feel, as we have felt during the course of this year, that it has been time well spent in forging a more successful Metro Chamber. 525,600 moments, oh 25,000 journeys to plan 525,600 minutes How do you measure the life of a woman or a man? In truths that she learned Or in times that he cried In bridges he burned Or the way that she
now I'd like to invite Bruce Bottleson to come to the stage to present the award. And Jay, would you also please come to the stage so we can properly show our appreciation to you. So Jay, this is on behalf of the Metro Chamber. It's 6,000 members and nearly a quarter of a million employees uh, that we represent. We thank you for your service, for your dedication, for your, your intellect, for your insights, and we really appreciate all that you've done for the Chamber in this community. Thank you. Thank you. You're right, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>